Hey everyone, it's Stephanie from Three Queens Resale and I am back with a massive bins haul. So if you want to see what I got, stay tuned. Hey everyone, it's Stephanie from Three Queens Resale, and if you are new to my channel, thank you so much for joining me. It does mean a lot to me that you even are giving me a chance. And if you are a reseller bestie and you are returning, thank you so much for being a part of my positive resale community. Today's video is a Ben's haul, so I have a bunch of stuff here that I'm gonna go through, and I will tell you how much I plan to list it for, and what I'm gonna do with it. So three things, one of three things can happen. I can list it myself, which we list on multiple platforms, including Poshmark, eBay, Macari, Depop, those places. Or I could go straight to a whatnot sell, but I think I've, I've actually sourced this stuff like a week ago, so I think I pulled most of the whatnot items already, but if I haven't, I'll let you know. Or we can send it to the real real. So I'll let you know what I'm going to do with each item. And if that sounds good to you, be sure to give me a thumbs up and let's get into it. I am working on building my channel. So I've linked above a playlist of Ben's haul videos. So if you don't mind going on and binge watching them so I can get my watch hours up, that would be amazing. Thank you, besties. So let's get into it. The first, I'm going to start with the shoes just because they're in accessories just because they're closest to me so the first thing i have is this bag this like work bag it's super clean on the inside and this is swiss army and when i looked up comps they were selling between like 50 and 80 so i'll clean this guy up find the, out the um actual sale price yeah, i see the bottom's really clean and get it listed that is what we're gonna, we're gonna list that ourselves. The next, I got a lot of shoes. You know, I'm really trying to up my shoe game. Are these purple UGG Cook Barrel boots? And they have little sequin stars. They are really clean on the bottom. They do need some cleanup on the sides though. And I might actually even like throw them in the washer. Um, or like a the heck there's something wood chips or something down in here <laughs> let me get my trash can i'm telling you you can find anything in shoes but these i was looking for the size they are us5 and so probably 30 for these uggs do not command as much as they used to and definitely the kookaburro um label is not like as good as the regular uggs in my opinion these are Columbia boots, men's boots. They are waterproof. Um, do they have a special name? No, but they are a size of men's eight and great pre-owned condition. So hopefully I can get about 50 or 60 for these. Next, I have these, um, they're in Spanish, I feel like. So that's the brand. Um, I don't know anything about these, so I will look up the comps. If you do know something about them, leave me a comment down below. Like, tell me if I got some gold or garbage. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, these uh, are size 37. So, and they're like a Mary Jane. Next up, oh, okay, next up is this Prada bag, which someone gave me. Um, this I'm gonna send into the real real, only because I'm not sure if it's authentic. It does have the Prada branding here and on the inside, um, but I just don't know. I, I did look up in the Prada lining. I did find bags like this style listed on Poshmark that we're going for over a hundred but since I'm not sure if it's a hundred percent authentic I'll send it into the real real and they will authenticate it and I'll just list it over there no harm no foul if it's not authentic they'll just send it back to me 
and I'll give it to Jackie to play with. <laughs> um, next is another purse, and it's called Utility. Um, the comps were like all over the place on this brand, but since it was the bins, and I thought it was just like a cute crossbody leather bag, hopefully I can get about 25 to 30 for it. Um, okay, got some kids' shoes. So these are Oshkosh, and they're just a tall little fleece line boot with a side zip. They are a size 9 medium. So, yeah, just a nice boot coming for winter season coming up. Hope to get maybe like between 15 and 20 for them. Here's a boys pair of Lone Con which I don't know anything about this brand, so I'll have to look up. It does have UK sizing, but it's got a like a construction motif. So hopefully I can get between 20 and 30, but I don't know the brand. So, but usually I feel like they're like bogs and I can only get that much for bogs. Next up, what are these guys? Okay, these are bamboo, which is not like a great brand. So hopefully I can get $15 for them. They are like a basic like fall, like winter heeled booty. So um, based on style, they should do pretty well. These are this brand. I've rel to, I have never picked them up. So once again, um, let me know in the comments if I've got something great. These are size nine and a half. They are all man-made materials, so I'm guessing like, uh, but maybe like 20 bucks for those. Here's that thing. So I can set those down there. So these guys need a lot of cleanup. They are, I think I've sold these before. Yeah, they're uh, Sam Edelman. And I believe this is called the Penny Boot, but I have sold it before. It's just a tall boot. Um, it does have the stretch for a wide calf, and it has a back zip. And this is um, a light brown color, and it is a... Let's see if we can find the size. <laughs> I don't see the size of the other one off the top, but I will definitely search for it. Oh, I found it. It's a size um, seven wide calf, so I'll be sure to put that in the listing, seven wide calf, because wide calf definitely. So these guys are Todd's. Um, and they're in, they're just their top driving loafer, and they can sell pretty well. Hoping to get maybe between 50 and 100, or 50 and 100, 90 and 100. Um, between them, I will sit on them. I think these are a great fall shoe. I will get them cleaned up with a leather cleaner. They are a size 37 and a half. So, yes. Nice designer piece. Um, here's the mate to these. So these are Anne Klein Flex, and they gave me Tory Burch vibes when I was in the bin. The, the embellishment is a little like scarred up, so I'm going to see if I can clean that up. But they are a larger size. They're a 10 medium, and I thought this would just be a nice work, oops, work shoe. So hopefully I can get about between 15 and 25 for these. And I will list those as well. Um, as you can tell, I list like 90% of what we get. Um, these guys are super cute. <laughs> Look at, there's like a crocodile vibe going on there. And they're just Cat and Jack. They're a size 6. And I got these for my kids' whatnot auction. So I'll put them over here. These are Dolce Vita, and I always get confused about the different Dolce Vita lines, so I just always buy them, and some of them sell really fast, and then I sit for a lot of money, and then I sit on others, but that's okay. Um, but this is a nice, like, 
a heel with an ankle strap. They are a size, what size are they? Today is not the day, friends, for fine. Oh, here it is. Size 8. I'm having a feeling that this is like the diffusion line at Target because I just saw Made in China on it. So, <laughs> okay. So, maybe like 20 bucks for those. Um, so, these are Chloe, which is another designer brand. I will see a Made in Italy on the bottom. Um, I'll get them cleaned up and I will look at the comps and see if it's worth me listing or if I should send to the real real. But these are a size, what did I say, 37 and a half. So, yeah, hopefully there's, I'm going to put them over here with my Todd's and my Prada. Hopefully there's a lot of money in those. For this whole haul, I spent like, it's been a week. I think it was $85. Maybe I'll find my receipt in here. Um, the next pair are these Ellen Tracy, um, black booties, and I thought that this zipper detail was really cute, and it has a side zip over here, and they are a size eight and a half, and yeah, they're just a fabric upper, so maybe about 20 for these. I'm trying to be more realistic in my pricing of items so that they will move quicker. Um, so these are the brand U Unisa, and they are an 11 medium, and they're just a black Oxford, patent leather Oxford. Um, this is elastic, so it's just, it's just a slip-on, but I try to pick up women's shoes in size 11, um, you know, larger sizes. I thought that this would be a nice, like, fall, like, work shoe. Um, I don't feel like that brand is like very high end. It is sold at TJ Maxx. Um, so maybe like between 25 and 35, I'll have to look up comps to be sure. So I did pick up these Sportos. They do look cute, um, nice and clean. They are waterproof and they are shearling line. They do need to be like freshened up and like cleaned up a little bit. But I think I could probably get between 35 and 45 for these. Maybe even if we get them cleaned up really good, maybe even more. But definitely shooting for at least 45 for these wedge sporto boots. And they are a size. Sorry if you can hear my family in the background. Um... I think they're size nine, but I'll make sure we have the right thing for listing. And then there was a, f oh, here's another pair of shoes. These are Tahari. I love these. They are size eight and a half. They're called the May, but look at the calf hair here on the band. On, on the, is this the vamp? Is that what it's called? But they look really good on the bottom. And I just thought this was like a really nice shoe. So Hopefully, we can get between 25 and 35 for these. That's kind of like my ballpark that I want to hit for most things that we pick up. A few pieces of clothing at the bottom of this bag. So, these are high, high Rise Wide Leg Banana Republic pants. So, High Rise Wide Leg. That's a nice wide leg. Um, hopefully, I can get about 25 for these. I'm going to list them. I thought about putting them in a whatnot sale, but I am so busy with my casework job that I haven't had time for whatnot auctions, so we shall see. Um, this is Spence, and it's just this multicolored, like, tunic. I just thought it was pretty, and of course it was like weight, so hopefully I can get about 20 for that. Um, and then next, I found these Columbia... And these are a size 78 girls snow pants. I might let Jackie wear them these season. They do have a stain on the back. So if I can't get that out, I'll definitely just give them to her. I thought I'd wash these already. All right, I have to just disclose that. But they are otherwise in really good condition. And it'd be great to play out. And then the snow this winter. Okay. 
So bag number two, the first thing up is this, um, the brand is Tangelino, which I think is a pretty good leather brand purse. And it's this green color. So hopefully I can get, I think I've sold one for the, of these, not in the green of course, but a black one for like 35. So hoping that same price range. I should have put my bag over here, but oops. Next is this Franco Sarto shoe booty. Um, it is, size, oh, here it is, size eight and a half. So pretty good pre-owned condition. Well, especially once we, oh, there is a nick on the hill that we'll have to disclose. Nick on this hill too. But otherwise, hmm, with those issues, maybe like 20 bucks, 15 to 20. Sometimes I'm just so happy and I'm just searching for mates that I don't even see like the flaws. These are Johnston and Murphy's. They're laced up really weird, but um, they are really good condition. They're men's 12W, so hopefully I can get maybe like 35 or 40 for them. They do have a little wear on the soles, but still lots of life left in these guys. Take the sweater off because... We all know Stephanie goes from hot to cold, cold to hot. <laughs> okay, so a pair of Minnetonkas. They do need some cleaning and some like suede conditioning, um, but they are in good pre-owned condition and they're the high, high ones. The soles look really good. Move my hand out of the way. Let me see what size they are in case anyone wants to inquire about them. They are a size seven. So size seven high moccasin boot. Hopefully I can get about 25 to 35 for those. Little kid Uggs. These are the regular, the, these are the Bailey bows. And they are, I just sold a pair I think for like $25. Um, so these guys are a size. Oh, here it is. I was looking at the wrong side of the tag. Um, they are a U.S. size 2. So, I'll get these scrubbed up. And they'll look really good for photos. And maybe 35 40 bucks. We are heading into Ugg season. So, we should do pretty well with those. Um, these are a spray. I got them because I like this, like, faux snakeskin print. And they have a back zip. And I believe they might be even a larger size. Sometimes, um, no, they're just eight, eight and a half. They're called the Tiffany, so that'll be, I'll put that in the listing. And a spray isn't like a really high-end brand, but they do have some trendy pieces. So hopefully I can get like 30 for them. Because it is the season for this type of shoe. And so hoping to capitalize. Next, what are these? Oh, these are Spiri. These are in really good condition. It's like they've never been worn. And they are a size, they're a men's size US 12. So hopefully I can get like between 50 and 75 for these. Like a super good pre-owned condition. The next pair of shoes, um, what are these guys? Another pair of Johnston and Murphy's. These are brown, like a chocolate brown suede. They do need some like buffing up to look good again, but they're a men's size eight and a half. And I think that we could probably get like between about 30 for these. Like I said, it is the season for this type of fabric and style of shoe. Um, really in shoes, I'll pick up anything year round, but I'm definitely looking for those boots and nice fall so these are soul society i can't remember where soul society is sold but it's not like a super high-end brand these are um if i remember if i'm thinking about the right thing they are a size they're cute though they're cute and i 
nice casual like shoe boot or like ankle boot. Mm -hmm. well, I can't find the size in them, so we'll have to work on that off camera. Mm -hmm. And then I'm like desperately looking for the size, <laughs> and I don't see it on the this label here. I'm gonna guess they're a size eight because I I've been doing this for a minute, but. <laughs> Next are a pair of Clark's sandals. So um, these are just a wedge sandal. They do need some cleaning up on the soles a little bit. Um, nice leather sandal. Hopefully I can get about 20 to 25 for them. They might not go for a while because I don't know who's still looking for sandals. Um, same with these Morel, Morel sandals. So hopefully maybe like 25 for them. They don't look bad. Just a little clean up. And they'll be good to go. Um, boots. So these are Sorel um, boots. Uh, they are a size. They're insulated. They are a U.S. size 1. So these are kids ones. So hopefully maybe like 35. And then I have another. A black pair of. These are dirty. <laughs> Of black Sorel boots and these are a size US 1 so uh, last pair of shoes I think there might be some buried somewhere else are these BOC um, uh, tall boots and they are leather and they're a size six and a half and they have a side zip so uh, I'll have to look up the comps, maybe like 30. We'll see. We'll see. Now we got, oh, here it is my, this is my receipt. No, I spent $89. I think I said like 84. $89, so, um, and I had 58 pounds. So, now we'll do the clothes. So this is Trina Turk Los Angeles Palm Springs. I am going to send this into the real real because I don't have a lot of luck with Trina Turk. Um, so I'm like, uh -huh, I take that back. I just sold a top that was only listed for like two days. So it just depends on the piece. But that's kind of out of season. So I'll just send it over there. Um, God, my ankle's itching. Something bit me. Um, this is... He High, which is sold at Anthropology, and it is just a utility jacket with like a little light flare to it. So, does has some like not sure if it's intentional, but the color is inconsistent. So, I'll just have to take pictures, make sure we have good pictures of that. Um, I feel like it's meant to be like that, though. Yeah, I think it is. Um, we'll get that listed. Get my piles together. Um, so this is Lane Bryant, and it is just a um, knit sweater. And this will go in my whatnot auction for sweater weather. Stuff again. I think I did wash this stuff. Um, and this one. This is Banana Republic. I must have tried it with a bunch of sweaters. It is very lengthy. Um, and it is just a nice pencil skirt, size six. So maybe about 25 for that. I'll list that. This is um, a 1X and it's the brand RBX. And it's just a pullover, long sleeve like workout shirt. This will go in my plus size. Do I have a plus size here? And these are mid rise size, the boyfriend jean short. They're size 14. And these will go in my flash cell. Um, so whenever I get ready to do a pop up, that's where the those go. So this is Ralph Lauren Sport and it is just a gray full zip hoodie. I will list that. Um, 
Um, next up is this philosophy. Um, the Ralph Lauren sport hoodie. I'll have to look at the comps, but maybe like 25 to 35. This is philosophy, and it's a small um, open cardigan, knit, knit cardigan, and I'm hoping for about 20 for that. This is cut from the cloth. It's just a stripe, um, like long sleeve, maybe like 18, 15 to 20. And then these are Gap, size 26, the Always Skinny. I picked them up because they were corduroys, and corduroys do do well for me in the fall. So hopefully I can get 20 to 25 for those. Um, this is was thrown in here, but this was donated to me by friends. So this is just um, unbranded, but it's the Unsalty Dog Catawba Island. I think the Salty Dog Company is like a thing. So maybe like 15, 25, we'll have to look up comps. Actually, this is a bag of random, and most of it's the bins, but when I did some laundry, some things got mixed in. Um, <laughs> these are J. Jill, the Wherever Collection, and they're a size medium. They are just this um, brown knit pant with a cuff. Me, um, I have sold several Wherever J. Jill pieces, but they've always been black, so hopefully I can get maybe about 20 for those. Mm. Oh, another pair of shoes. So these are mine, and I just don't wear them anymore, but they're Lily Pulitzer van type shoes. So hopefully like 25 to 30 for those. Um, this is ESPN Sports, and I'm going to put this in the um, my Disney Whatnot auction, which I don't have that bin up here, but I'll throw that over here. These are, I've never, I might have w one time. This is Topshop, and these are size US 6, but they're these plaid high-waisted pants. So I'm going to get those listed on Poshmark. And then this is a Polo Ralph Lauren. We'll list this as well. Um, I'm not I'm not sure about the top shop pants, so I'm gonna say about twenty five, and then I'm gonna say probably between fifteen and twenty for this shirt. Um, what is this? This is Marvel, so I got this. I'm gonna list it in my Disney. I don't even know who this is. If you do, leave it in the comments for me. But this will go in my Disney one up. <laughs> If more, I'll have to, is Marvel part of Disney? I get so confused with who owns who. Um, this is Zara. So this is a Zara piece. And I am going to list it because it's perfect for fall. And I just don't know when I would have a whatnot to list it. So hopefully maybe like between 35 and 45. I'll have to look up comps. But I do have a few other Zara pieces currently listed. So these are Lululemon, and I am going to put them in an upcoming whatnot, and they're just a crop legging, I think. Let's see if we can find the size. Uh, it's always fun to find these on camera. Let's see. Is there any tucks in there? <laughs> any? I'm looking for any, like, inside pockets, because I feel like that's where... I find them, but no, I don't, oh, yep, found it. These are size six, so I'm going to put those in my flash cell whatnot bin. And, oh, I think this is my friend's, and she was looking for it, and I didn't, couldn't find it, but I, oh, I don't know if it is or not, if this is what she was looking for or not. It's a medium. I'm going to see if this is what she was looking for. But this is North Face. So my friend donated me a bunch of clothes. And she was asking me if a black. She said hooded. This isn't hooded. But I'm going to see if she wants this. Because she donates so much stuff to me. And then we have just a few more things. So these are the uh, 
Vigo's jeans and I got them because look at this like flare leg at the bottom. So we'll list those. They're low rise though. They're not high rise. So I'm not sure what rise is in anymore. These are Banana Republic factory, but they are the Blake and they are high rise wide leg pant and they're size 10. So I felt like they would do well and they have the belt. Let me put the belt with them. And then I have this is a Juicy Couture. And it is just a little like pullover. And so this will go in my kids whatnot. And this is Nike Golf. It's a size medium. And I'll list this. I'll list this. Uh, hopefully I can get about 15 for that. So while I, my strategy is volume, mid-range prices. So Joseph and Lyman, this is 100% wool. And I will get this listed. I think the comps are pretty high. I think we can list that for about 30. And then these white jeans, um, I don't know why I didn't throw these back, but they're Harper Heritage, which I think is like a Nordstrom Rack brand, and they have a raw hem, so I'll just list them. Maybe about 15 for those. And we're going to finish up with some sweaters. So this is their brand Every, and it's a 1X. It's like an oversized like duster cardigan. Um, this brand is sold at Target and this is going to go in my sweater whatnot. These are Oshkosh Bigosh size 7 and I know they're not at the bright season but they're super cute with all these little anchors on them so I will put them in my kids whatnot and someone else can just sort it out. And the last two I have this Lauren Conrad sweater, which will go in my sweater whatnot. And it's got like sequins throughout and striped. It's a size extra large. And then my final piece is, what is this? It's a William Rast. And it's this chunky knit like mustard colored sweater. We will get this listed. I will list it for about 30 and that is today's haul i hope you've enjoyed it definitely binge watch my other haul videos and leave me a comment on what you liked best out of this haul and i will let you know in the future if that product is authentic or not but until next time thanks so much for watching bye